I just got this package in today and this is the Paragraphics Photo Etch Parts Kit for the USS Reliant model and uh, got here really fast. I ordered it on Thursday and uh, today's Saturday so basically two days that's really really good so I'm gonna open this up here in just a second and I'll zoom in the camera here for you and give you a nice um, close-up view of what you get on this thing. Starting off with the instruction sheet we see that uh, we're talking about our window templates here and the materials that we are uh, used to glue these parts on with and I mentioned here at the bottom of the, the actual extra parts that you get with this uh, as I mentioned in uh, talking earlier this uh, nice little template here for the window bay at the back of the officers lounge at the back section of the bridge this nice much more accurate grill detail that goes on just behind that and the airlock door system there's also airlock door detail now for the side of the saucer and some detail for the rear part of the shuttle bay area and some other things there on the rear bulkhead so really nice and then we have our window templates here and what they're talking about is uh, they're talking about using a number three uh, drill bit which is pretty pretty small it's uh, it's about as small as you can go and it'll work great in a Dremel tool and you basically um, attach these onto the side of the hole here with some tape and you just follow these lines here and drill these out and you've got these kind of rectangular rounded off edge windows along with the small round windows so that rectangular window is going to be nice to be able to do you basically be able to put the, the bit in there and just kind of work it back and forth and cut that out just perfect and also the windows will all be lined up exactly where they should be and I'll when I finish with this review I'll go in and uh, attach one of these and I'll do a little bit of drilling for you to give you an idea of how that works so I'll come back here in a second and we'll take a look at the, uh, the actual part sheet itself here is the Paragraphics Photoets part sheet and I'll basically kind of point out what you get on this thing. Uh, these pieces here in the center are all the uh, window templates and the nice uh, officer's lounge window there. These, these really nice photo etch parts here for the crystals on the top and the bottom of the saucer section. Uh, the impulse vent grills. These little detail areas here are actually supposed to be folded over the corner of the rear part of the hole there. There's some detail there and these inserts for the shuttle bay detail that kind of fold and go in there so that's that's really cool and you get a nice um, uh, really nice reliant plate here that you can use to mount on the uh, your display stand or whatever you want to use with that when you're finished so that'll that'll really be nice uh, what I'm gonna do now here is I'm gonna go in and start taking a few of these out and uh, get one of these placed on the front of the uh, saucer section here and uh, we'll do a little bit of drilling and see how this window guide works be right back Alrighty, so what I've done is I've mounted this uh, window template here on the side of the uh, on the port side of the uh, top of the saucer here, and making sure that this window pattern is uh, correct and matches up with uh, the windows that are actually on the ship. And you can see by the pattern here of these little oval windows and these these uh, little small ones. If you look at the the uh, picture of the model on the on the front of the box, you'll you'll be able to tell that. And just to put it on the other side, you don't get both sides. You just flip this over and move it to the other side when you want to do that. And I've got my uh, number three bit here installed. I'm going to go ahead and start doing these windows. I'm slow this thing down just a tad here. And we'll start off doing the round ones first. That's looking pretty good. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. I can see that I did there. When you start getting the little crumbs on there, it starts getting kind of hard to see. Got this one at the top that I uh, missed. And I'll just kind of hit these again. Just to clear them up a little. This is really nice. This makes this a lot, lot easier. Okay, now what I'm going to do is uh, make sure my bit's nice and cl uh, clean here. Because uh, like I mentioned earlier, this um, this piles up with plastic pretty good and it, sometimes it actually melts and gets on there on these really small ones. So a little trick here, just use a lighter or whatever and uh, you can just melt that stuff right back out of there. It's, it, gets, it gets stuck on there pretty good and maybe clean it up with a 
with a hobby knife if you need to. I'm going to do that to make sure because if you start collecting plastic in there, it starts making your holes get bigger and bigger and bigger because it's actually melting the plastic and not drilling it. So I want to make sure I got a nice clean blade on here when I start doing these rectangular shaped holes. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's try this first one right here. I'm going to drill on one side and the other, then one in the middle. And as I said, it gets a little hard to see there, so just clean it off. center. Now I'm just going to work my bit back and forth here. Just follow the outside edge of this template. It feels pretty good. Stop and check my drill bit again and sure enough it's, it doesn't take long especially on these finer tipped ones. They, they pile up with the plastic pretty quick. So just work your way through this. I'm going to go on here to the top one. Again, doing the left one first. Then a hole on the right. One in the center. And I'm just going to start working my bit back and forth. Okay, that feels pretty good. Do this one here on the bottom. I'm going to hold this up a little bit so I don't drill into my mat. Pull this template off now. See what our area looks like. And you can see the oval windows are going to just need a little bit of cleaning up. I'll come back in here with a uh, with a hobby knife and just and run these down just a little bit. But I've got my my basic shape there that I was looking for, so that's going to come out really nice. This works perfect. And uh, maybe just a little bit of filing work to do in there, but these. These windows are all just perfect. I mean, they're exactly where they're supposed to be and they're not overly large. Uh, there's another template for this area here and then of course all the way around the uh, circumference of the saucer. So that's gonna really be good. And they also include the one that to do your windows here at the uh, on B deck, I guess this is called just below the bridge area. So it's a really nice kit. I just thought I'd give you guys a quick look at that and show you what you can expect when you get it. And again, another look at it. This is just a really, really nice item here, and um, like I said, they shipped it really fast. I think it was around $23. Not bad at all. It's really going to help this model with the detail when you add all this. This stuff that goes on the crystals and everything is really going to be nice, and that being able to do the uh, the window now at the rear of the, uh, this area here, and uh, I'll probably do a little bit of lighting behind that now to make it give it that effect of uh, being a room in there. So. Pretty cool stuff. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and I highly recommend this one. I'll keep coming back with updates as we go as our stuff comes in. I've got stuff coming in from Don's Light and Magic, uh, Voodoo Effects board for the navigation lights and a few other things. So hope you'll follow along, and until we see you again, everybody, happy modeling.